Wave 11 of Amber Island is here featuring a new monster. So let's go and get him and check it out. So today we've got us Water Quince that was first teased yesterday. So I'm very excited to discover this. Seeing as though it's not in Dawn of Fire Thirst or it's not coming in Dawn of Fire at the same time. It's a really weird experience. Thinking about how these Quints are actually going to be arriving in My Singing Monsters first is really weird. But we've got it to check out today. So I'm quite excited. I really don't know what this design is going to be like. Maybe no. Oh, that's what everyone was predicting. Look at this. We've got us conundrum too. Oh, I've got three days left now till I can awaken that plant island colossal and I am excited to do so. Boathead. That's its name, guys. Oh, and you can see rare Flumox. Okay, we're going to have to go on over to mobile for that because I don't have the diamonds for this thing on Steam. So we're going to go on over to mobile a little bit later for that. But for now, let's check out Boathead. I've just realized we can do something really unique inside of this discovery video. As soon as though it's a vessel, we could actually discover it when we get the monster itself. So let's save looking at its design for now until we actually get it, because that'll be really exciting, I do think. Oh, and everyone was predicting that this would not have the earth element inside of it, and everyone was right about that. I'm pretty surprised about how everyone managed to guess that. Look at this too. I've got all of these monsters ready. For the quints, they always want the monsters with the water or the element that they're based around. As soon as though I knew it was the water quint, I know exactly what I'm breeding today, which I'm pretty ecstatic about. I had all of my breeding stuff ready for dromedary, but most of that actually carried over, so we're pretty lucky that that managed to carry over as well as what it did. I feel like all the quints just want every single monster anyway, so <laughs> there's not much logic behind it. You just breed everything, then the quint will have it. Um. These quints gobble up everything. They're not like Krill Bay gobbling up all the bloats. <laughs> But they do like a lot of the monsters. And we've got all those quads here. I don't even think we're going to even spend any diamonds on Steam today. It's just mobile. But mobile is like 20,000 diamonds at this point. We're okay on that department. It's Steam, which we have to worry about. And we're not spending any. You know what? That means we can save it for Crescendo Moon. That's going to be coming probably in two weeks. Bowhead, though. Why is it called Bowhead? All right, seeing as though it's called Bowhead, I think its sound is actually going to be more related to its harm. We are predicting it's going to have this mouth but I don't actually think it's gonna now. I feel like it's gonna do something else. While you're reading these monsters for the quints, by the way, guys, make sure to use that Cold Island skin that we got if you got it this Christmas. It speeds up reading by 10%. 10%? Absolutely crazy. Oh, wait, we don't have any water elementals on Firehaven. I'm going to all the ones without Tojimar on. MPG. No, it's not Drummondary. No, the monster handlers trolled us. You gotta keep that in mind. <laughs> We're right about the fur on the back of it. We were saying it's got fur at the back of it. All we saw with that silhouette, but that were enough for us to make us assumptions. I think they want Pekidna to this bowhead. You know, it's cute enough, I think. I've not seen his design yet. It looked a little bit like to Prismatic Diorwa. Not sure whether that's going to come true just yet. You don't want Pekidna. Pekidna doesn't have the water element. <laughs> Oh no, I should know the elements. I really don't though. I only know the elements on each individual island. I, d I can't actually remember them by heart. Here's are gonna come for me now. Don't know elements bad monsters. What kind of MPG am I? In my defense, the mythicals don't even have an element anymore. So there you go. <laughs> That's my excuse anyway. Come on, this spare congle. Bowhead. Ah, we were right about the flogs. Last minute MPG was on the case. Saving them three diamonds? Well worth it. There's too many monsters in this thing. I I'm just writing them down. <laughs> I can't remember all this. It wants double the amount of quads. But in tarnation, I was not prepared for this. Autocorrect. You you're supposed to like Periscope. I keep going to Firehaven. MPG, there's no toe jammer on Firehaven. <laughs> I don't know why you've got it in your head. There is, but there is not. You have Kana on Fire Oasis. I think we need quite a few on Fire Oasis, so we'll just hang out here for a while. <laughs> wink. Wink is a wink. That's what I wrote in my name, I remember. But all wink. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson face moment. 
Take note for the next quint. When it's a quint, it wants double the amount for the elemental ward behind it. So the ward one, it wants double Shelby. You won't get best of me next time, quint. I think this should be our final monster now. I've got to say, I did not use as many diamonds there. To say this is a quint, I've used barely anything. I think it's his last one anyway. Let's take a look. Oh, we, we forgot a Denchus. Denchus. Ah, uh, you're on my favorite island, so I'll forgive you. There we are, Denchus. Final one. There we go there. Then, Bowhead, let's take a look now, shall we? Really don't know what to expect out of this design. Quite a bulky figure I'm expecting. Here we go then. Gotta prepare myself for this. A new Quint. It's how long has it been since Dromedary? It has been a long time. A very long time. So here we go. Wait, it's grey. <laughs> grey and orange. Well, wow, that's peculiar. Got some spots at the bottom. A little roughed up too. A, a little rough around the edges, but I think we're gonna love it. It's gonna be like schlep. I have a very strange feeling. If it's like prismatic Dior, it's gonna be like schlep level. I hope it's not like prismatic Dior. <gasps> right, here we go. Go ahead. <laughs> Design is amazing. What the? A natural monster being this cool? What? What am I experiencing? And it was the, it was the horn inside of the teaser all along. It was a red flamox. It was this. Oh my word. What in the world? I love this design. All right, we're going down there. What kind of sound does it make? I heard it a little bit. Oh, we was right about the mouth too. It is totally, look how big it is. Oh my God. This design has already won me over. No, we're not playing yet. Please play multiple parts. You have an amazing design. You got to compliment that with its sound. I knew it would make a sound with its mouth. Called it, but that one was certainly not Rare Flamox. We did say it would be something else though, because it didn't look that similar. Not at the end either. Are we actually going at the beginning? Come on, come on, Bowhead. Wait, what if we're in the beat drop? I won't be able to contain my excitement. I mean, I would do one at the beginning just to fill it out, but also beat drop. Please, my favorite verse. No, it doesn't play at the beginning. <laughs> I knew something had to go there. Called it, MPG. You called it. As predictions were literally spot on yesterday. Got me, got me. Whoa. Are we playing in the beat drop? I have a feeling we're only going there. We know what Amber Island's like. I'm not pretending it to go anywhere else. Yeah, we only play at the beginning. Literally the best place that this monster could have gone. I was surprised to not hear it in the beat drop though. It kind of felt like it was gonna go there, especially seeing as it only plays it sounds once, apparently inside of the song, but that fulfills that burst out so much more now. Just like we were saying, there was such a long pause there for such a long time. Finally getting an addition there, yes. This Indoor of Fire is gonna be so good though. When it gets off of Amber Island, it's gonna go next level. The design already is amazing, and that sound, we've gotta have it somewhere. Maybe Space Island or Cloud Island. I'm sensing that kind of vibe, but this is definitely gonna be one of those two outer islands. Either way, on a fire is where this monster's gonna really thrive. All right, Bowhead, what kind of lore have we got today? One of the deepest diving denizens of the living ocean. The majestic Bowhead breaches above the surface and harnesses miraculous ocean currents to levitate ashore and show everyone a whale of a time, the puns. That is a good one. <laughs> By listening closely to the low-pitched infrasonic sounds echoing across these currents, this quint element monster memorizes and masters their resonant melodies. Gliding tuba cled flippers across its baleen. I'm not sure what that word means, but I do like sound of it. Baleen. That's gonna be one of my favorite words, I think, from now on. Don't know why, but I like saying that. The bowhead produces superb euphonious bass and always gives a criller performance. It's believed that some of the water top bosses most identifiable traits are also expressed in a land-dwelling cousin. Land-dwelling cousin? Who am I supposed to be referencing towards here? That is the first reference where I'm like, I'm not sure who it's referring to. Maybe Shelby? Not too sure. Either way, we're gonna name you Narwhal, because you're adorable. Love the levitation. What do you look like sleeping Narwhal? 
it's so cute. Oh my god. This is one of those really cool designs that just gets you really excited, like Monculus. You can tell they really went out of the way with this one. Really cool. So now we've got to check out rare Plumox. I got a little bit of a glimpse at them in the monster book, but not too sure what those look like. So still gonna be quite surprised here. All right, so we're on mobile now. So let's go and check out rare Plumox. Where are you, Plumox? There's too many monsters on this thing anymore. I can't see anyone. There you are. Actually, we don't actually need you, but it's useful because we'll know where to place it down now. So let's go ahead and get you there. Did we get that first trap? Why does my good luck always come to me on mobile? I don't need it on mobile game. I need it on Steam. Right, anyway, we've got Rare Flumox first try somehow. I swear to God, if I get a Quint first try, a rare one, this is just rigged on mobile. <laughs> oh, whoa. That is really cool. Spider webs, it's like a tiger too. Yeah, really contrasting with the original design. Love it, tarantula. Completely tarantula. I see it now. Spider webs. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be this one of tarantula. <laughs> Why is its tongue green though? That just, it does not look right to me. <laughs> its tongue being green is weird. We'll give it that though. Yeah, I don't think his tongue should be green, but other than that, a really cool one. Right, let's have a look. Venturing into colder climates than their common cousins, Rare Flamoxen. Sport strips shaggy coats. But what happens when the quad's normal, high pliant horns are exposed to extreme cold? They bend and snap. This doesn't appear to harm the monsters in any way, thankfully, but it does expose the secrets of the species' ability to reshape its horns at will. A phosphorant compound, not unlike the acid in mussels, courses through them and initiates a chemical reaction that forms the various gestures for which the monster is known. That's interesting that they can reshape the horns. It's just the tongue. The tongue for me. A nice variant to kickstart a year, though, I do say. The star of the show, though, today is Bowhead. I love how you went exactly where we needed you most. That does not happen often, guys. And to say that they just came along and went exactly where they needed to go, it's a good way of this. Pretty excited for his remaining quints now. God knows when Dromedary is going to be coming along. But this one is going to shine in Dawn of Fire. Make sure to leave a like for now, guys, if you enjoyed and to subscribe too. Make sure to let me know what you think about Wave 11 down below. Are you excited to see Bowhead in Dawn of Fire? Because I was your Anyway though guys, bye.